Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about the little Dancing Wings uh, J3 Firebird. It is an interesting little model from, uh, from Banggood and uh, Dancing Wings. It comes uh, as a kit, it's a full kit build, something you have to be aware of. You have to build everything uh, and it takes quite a long while. I, uh, I, I built it over about three days I think. Um, it's it's pretty enjoyable build. There are some frustrating aspects about it, I suppose. I'm really not used to building little things like this, but um, it's a cute little plane. So it comes flat packed um, with uh, punch out pieces of plywood, very thin plywood, and a flat EPP foam sheet, which gets glued on top of everything. Uh, landing gear, uh, brushless motor, uh, prop keeper style uh, prop mount, um, rubber banded on wings. It comes with a, a DSM protocol, so that's uh, a spectrum or multi -pro protocol radio, uh, receiver, ESC, and power distribution board all in one, so um, very light and compact. All up weight, we're under 100 grams. So it's probably best designed to be flown indoors, I would think, rather than outdoors uh, with wind like I am here, but anyway. Uh, this is what I have, so we'll see how we go. You even have to make up the uh, push rods. You have to sort of uh, heat shrink and glue the ends onto carbon fibre push rods. It's an interesting mix of old school and new components like uh, carbon fibre uh, and plywood, I guess, and EPP foam. Really like the sort of built up wing style. You've got ribs, carbon fibre spars, and uh, covered with the thin EPP foam. Parts of it are a little bit too weak, uh, maybe it's me being clumsy, I'm not too sure, but uh, I broke some of the parts as I was trying to build them, so I ended up having to hot glue the servos into the, the skeleton part in the middle, rather than screw them in like I'm supposed, I suppose you meant to. I just broke it all as I was trying to screw it in. Um, but anyway, it's together, we're ready to fly. There's not too much wind, a little bit, so this will be interesting. The, uh, the uh, recommended battery is 2S, uh, 150 to 200 milliamp hour, uh, which is a tiny battery. I've actually got a, a 300 milliamp hour battery uh, 2S in there, so that's, that's the smallest battery that I've got, so we'll try that. I also have an 850 milliamp hour that I might try as well, because there's a lot of wing area there, I'm sure it can handle it. Little brushless motor, tiny little uh, 2 gram servos, 4 channel. You can separate the ailerons if you want to be able to program them, program them up separately. Uh, the receiver, there's a, a QR code on the packaging for the receiver board, so you have to uh, follow that QR code to uh, find the manual about how to bind it and all that sort of stuff. Should be pretty right to go, I think. Anyway, let's give it a go. Still a beautiful spot to be. There's a, a gale of five knots, which is going to, going to affect this little plane, I think. But we just got to throw it and see. Ah, that is cool. That is actually flying very nicely. There's, there's no stabilization or uh, safe mode or anything like that, but that is because it's so light, I suppose, in such a, a, a big wing area. Well, my bonnet's folded up. Look at that, flying slowly into the wind. Hey, <laughs> yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. My friend, Ground Control RC, said um, I would enjoy flying it, and I see what he means. I, to be honest, I didn't enjoy the build much. I, I don't uh, build these sorts of things very often. Um, but flying it is going to be a, a lot of fun. That's cool. The rudder isn't working for some reason. I think I've slipped on the uh, push rod maybe, but that's okay. That's still going well. Just bank and yank. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? Now there's a bit of wind. Look, I've just, that's absolutely right for uh, <laughs> for throws and uh, CG and all that sort of stuff. 
And this is kind of cool. Bit of dropper down there. <laughs> That's amazing. Nothing wrong with that being able to carry those bigger batteries. Um, doing it easy. I need to fix my bonnet down somehow. Bit of tape over my bonnet battery hatch might be a good idea so I've just connected everything to the outer holes see the ailerons flex a little bit they're quite thin but they're quite effective they're working quite all right it's the elevator and that's enough that's plenty the rudder is a bit bound up oh no that's working okay now so that's good that was just a bit glued up in the slot I think all right let's go again I can't use the landing gear here of course but uh, uh, you know, on a nice uh, pavement takeoff area, uh, something like that. It feels like it wants to slope too. Unfortunately, the wind's in the wrong direction, so I can't uh, can't try it out as a slope saw. Anyway, let's go again. It flies easily. Even with a little bit of wind, need to try and do a loop or a roll. There's a dodgy roll, and I don't know about the range, so I'm going to keep it in pretty close. It's going up all over the place because of the wind. You know, just a just a sort of a, a five knot gust is enough to knock it around. Hey, but. It looks good. It flies well. It's fun. Not my normal sort of plane. I try and avoid little toy planes usually, but uh, this, this is <laughs> kind of fun. If you enjoy the building process, then uh, then you'd probably enjoy it, I think. Um, but, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of work in it, and I always think I'd rather be doing it on a bigger plane. This amount of work, you know, three days it took me of sort of gluing up and... Uh, waiting for glue to dry and uh, all of that sort of stuff but um, you know if it was on a bigger plane you'd, you could sort of justify the time but if you like building then this one might be for you that's just flying nicely <laughs> it's cool I don't think we can do a loop no I haven't got enough throw on the elevator those sort of things can can be uh, tuned in I think but <laughs> what a fun little plane <laughs> that's cute cubs are always you know good flyers usually uh, and they're good looking planes they're sort of just a, a good basic uh, conventional looking plane I think my landing gear has just come loose how about we take the landing gear off it's not going to do me any good And what I might do is put the bigger battery in. So this is an 850 2S. Way more than recommended. Don't even know if I can get it in there. I reckon I should be able to slide it in there somehow. I'll plug it in first. So battery's in. CG's about right. So let's go with the 850 and no landing gear. Yep, that's going to be fine. I'll get a nice long flight time with this. No landing gear. Yeah, here we go. No problems at all. Yeah, there we go. Look at that 850 milliamp hour 2S and it's flying with no problems. Love to see it on a calm day. <laughs> this wiggly little thing in this sort of wind. Oh, you can ramp it up and uh, get a bit of height. 
Chuck in a roll. Oh, cool. A bit buzzy with this uh, prop saver type prop mount. I see ground control mounted a proper T-mount prop on it, uh, which should be able to balance properly. Um, have to admit I'm having more fun than I thought I would. So it's a plane that would teach you building skills. You have to be delicate and uh, not too messy with your, with your glue. I used CA glue and, um, and Yuhu Pour. I think foam tack might be better for the, um, uh, the uh, foamy bits. And you definitely need some CA accelerator, which I didn't have, which uh, makes building a bit more difficult. See, there's a bit of wind and it's just going well. <laughs> it's turbulent wind too, coming across the trees there. They're not cheap, I have to say. Um, same price as, as bigger and, and more uh, serious planes. But it's still a fun little plane. On a calm day, you could fly it around nice and slowly and uh, even put a camera on it. You could probably even put super light FPV on it too. This Ftron FPV in this window would make you sick, I would have to say. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to stand up. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, I'm flying into the sun now. It's all right, we recovered. Excellent. Keep it out that way and use a bit of rudder. There we go. Proper flying, coordinated turn. <laughs> How cool is this? Great stuff. I'd put a camera on it, but I, I just haven't got five volts to. Uh, uh, to operate the camera, unfortunately. Lovely, there you go, little Dancing Wings J3 Firebird Cub. It's, uh, it's, it's better than I expected. Bit of a pain to build, unless you're really into building. I'm not really that into this sort of building, but uh, yeah, better than I expected. Thanks for watching.